Hey everybody, this is Skater Zero. Today I'm going to be covering the analog set reset latch, which I haven't covered in the introductory video, but found out since then, and I uh, thought it was kind of cool. So basically what it does is it memorizes analog values. So if you've seen one of my previous videos on the compressed, or um, this over here, this circuit, the sort of alternate RS latch, this is a digital memory circuit, so it remembers you know on or off values. Uh, what this does is actually memorizes the analog value. So to demonstrate, I've got a, a weighted pressure pad here, and if I throw items onto it, I get an analog value here. And then if I press this button, the circuit memorizes whatever analog value was here. So now this is the output, um, which I've just fed through here so you can see it. The uh, output is 3. When I take these items off, it's still remembering the value 3 even though the input is now 0. And then if, um, say, I throw just one piece on, this now has a value of 1. And if I click the set button again, it says remember the new value that I have in here, which is 1. So now that output block there is going to have a value of 1. And if I take that off, it still remembers 1. And then to reset it, you just have to power this block. So I have a button here that resets and sets the whole system back to 0. And the way this works is you'll notice um, if you look carefully, this block and this little section here is actually the compact uh, RS latch that I showed over here. So this alternate RS latch with the torch and the two comparators kind of facing each other is the same setup as I have right here. And the way that that works is the same as I described that this value and this value, you know, wh whatever this value is, this one will be 15 minus that, and likewise, this will be 15 minus whatever value you have here. So these are always going to add up to 15. They, you know, are sort of opposites or inverts of each other in the analog sort of sense. Um, if that doesn't make sense, that's okay. The, the idea is it's the same circuit. You just have to build that same circuit. And um, the only difference is now that you have an analog input instead of a digital one coming into the set side of the circuit. So this is the analog input goes into here, but what we have here, this part of the circuit here, so this block, this comparator, and this repeater, and this torch are set up to be a um, analog on-off switch, which I've actually covered in a different video, but um, the way it works, the idea is that when this torch is on, this analog value is not allowed to pass through to the, uh, the other side. So this has an analog value of, say, 1 or 2, but because that torch is on, this is not allowed to pass the value through. And the way it works, the way you set it, is when you power this block, this turns off, and that basically allows that analog value to pass through. So when I click that, the analog value for here passes through to here, and it propagates through this, uh, this little section of the latch. So if that's a value of 1, this has a value of 14, and then because it has a value of 14, that's going to still hold a value of 1, even once you remove power to the, uh, the analog input. So that's how it remembers it. And then the way it resets, you just have to power this block here, uh, which puts a 15 here. When that puts a 15 here, that's going to become 0, and 0 is the reset. So you power that, that makes 15, that's going to make 0 and you've reset your system. The only trick here is you need to have, when you do the set, you need to have a, um, a repeater going into the reset. So when you set, you're actually resetting first and then allowing the analog signal to pass through. So if I put something on here, when I click this button, it's doing two things. The first thing is the signal goes through to here, resets, and then after it resets the value, it allows this value to pass through and be memorized. So the reason for that is because analog signals work a little bit differently when you memorize, say, a 15 value here, which actually can I'll put in a 15. So we grab a torch. So this has a value of 15. If I memorize the value of 15 and then put a smaller value here without doing the reset, so if I, if I try to tell it, remember the value, say, 1 there, with a value of 15 here, you'll see that it basically just stays 15, because when you try to push a level 2 strength signal onto a 15, it just says, well, 
the output's 15, you know, I, that's, it basically doesn't get any weaker, it can only get stronger. So the reason for the, this repeater here is what you actually have to do is reset first and then allow the new signal to come in and that's how that works. So the, uh, the basic idea here is if you want to memorize any kind of analog signal, you just have to make the circuit and press that button. It'll memorize the signal. If you want to reset it, you just have to power that block there by either pressing a button or adding redstone dust there, and you've uh, reset the memory to zero. So that's basically how that works. If you liked it, please uh, thumbs up, and I'll see you later.